Hey guys, Brent Fries Leslie here, and I was looking through my cards, and I found this card. Fairy's Hand Mirror. I'll have it show up on the screen, as usual. And basically, its effect is switch the opponent's spell card that designates one monster as a target to another correct target. And this card's pretty cool. It isn't a counter, and so a lot of the cards that I'm covering aren't counters. Uh, counter spells are always probably going to be better options for you. Um, that's just like how it is. You know, your opponent's not going to be able to chain stuff to it. My hair is crazy. Anyway, uh, what's cool about this card is is it a monster? Does it one monster? Yeah, one monster has a target. So, and once again, this is a card that kind of battles with prophecy. Now, there is a spell and trap counterpart called Fiend's Hand Mirror that does the protect spell and trap cards that are in your spell and trap zone. Uh, you know, you activate it and then switch it to another target on the board, which is pretty cool because you could set it. And when your opponent mysticals, if they have something on the board, you can chain it and make them mystical their own thing, which is kind of cool. So, uh, you know, but it's kind of a little more situational. Um, but, you know, and it, it really wouldn't hit a lot of cards in uh, the Prophecy deck. Maybe Fate, you know, if they decide to, um, if they decide to, uh, sorry, I got a little curl. If they decide to uh, hit a back row with fate, so it's kind of whatever. But basically, what you want to use this for is if they use uh, fate on their own monster to put it down, you can put another monster they control down. If they use uh, spellbook of power on a, on a monster that'll be too big for you to handle, you can designate another target. Um, I think spell spell. I'm not sure if spellbook of power targets. A monster you control or just a spellcaster so if it's just a spellcaster and you control a spellcaster you can make your own spellcaster bigger and if it's just a spellcaster you control then you can make another spellcaster they control bigger um that won't really help them anyway so let's say they have a spellbook magician on the board he's 500 normally and they have like uh you know a justice on the board who would become 16 uh, 2600 you can make them have a 1500 beater and a 1600 beater instead of a 26 beater and a 500 which would be a lot better. Um, so yeah, so that's, this is a pretty cool card. Uh, you know, you can you can force your opponent to do things that they really didn't want to do. You can make them target things that they don't want to do. But you know, uh, basically they still have wisdom as well. Uh, this works for wisdom also. So you could actually play something like uh, you know, I don't know, uh, like compulse or bottomless or something. And if they have another monster on the board. Uh, and they play Wisdom, you can chain this to Wisdom and make it target that other guy. And now the monster that they brought out that you were trying to kill can be killed anyway. And uh, it's kind of a cool card. So, you know, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section about Fairy's Hand Mirror. Uh, it's not the end-all, be-all type of, uh, you know, card that's going to just wreck prophecies. But it's another card that you can add to your arsenal, you know, in the future. For when that deck gets devastatingly powerful and you feel like there's no way to beat it. There's plenty of ways to beat it. You just got to kind of dig a little deeper into the card pool than normal. This is a really old card. Uh, this, I think this version yeah, this, started, this version is from Dark Beginnings 1, which is old in itself. But the original version, I think, is from like Metal Raiders or something. It's really old. But anyway, it's a pretty cool card. Um, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of videos going around right now on how to beat Prophecy Monsters. So you just go look on YouTube and check them out. You know, uh, there's plenty of ways to do it. And, uh, you know, yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this particular card. You know, to l tell me about other cards you think are good for beating uh, prophecies. And maybe I'll look them up and make a video about it. You know, who knows? But, yeah, so hit the like and subscribe button. See you when I put in your videos. And thanks for watching.